back there, there's a Sasquatch crossing. We're gonna do another little bottle hunt video today. Yep. What are we gonna find, Sydney? Hutches. Tons of them. What's a hutch? Um, I'm not too sure, but it's a rare bottle. See what we can find today. If this hutch was whole, then it would have had a star on the front. It's really hard to see, but you can see two little star points. Right there and there. It says buffalo right there. And then the back it says bottle not to be sold. We found a hutch in this area over here earlier this summer. Fresca. That's interesting. Fresca. It's not very old. Mm. We got a coat over here. Nice. Look, it's from 1958. Here's a little green medicine bottle. top and got this little cream jar it's got like leaves frozen to it looks like we've got an atlas jar right here atlas easy seal i found this wedged in the rocks it still has a cap on we've got some stuff underneath here too Medicine jar. Oh, that's kind of oh, cute. Look cute, this little jacket. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Is maple syrup or something. Got those two bottles. I was trying to get that out, but I couldn't. It's, it's like a little perfume bottle. It's like a ball. We found a gun. Sort of. It's like a cap gun. It's got another Atlas Easy Seal. And this one's actually sealed up. Diet Right Lemon Lime. It's a tall one. Less than three calories per bottle. 
Our hunt continues. We just got a milk of magnesia. Nice blue bottle. We got a couple of other blue bottles. We're moving down the moving down the line here. Sydney found a milk bottle. It's a Seneca Dairy from Canandaigua, New York. Set the camera, buddy. I pulled some of these out of Canandaigua Lake too. So we were joking at the beginning of this, Sydney saying, oh, I'm going to find a hutch. And what did you find? A hutch. He found it. He found his first hutch. What does it say? You... Unbottling work. Oh no. Ah. Union Bottling Works, New York, Canandaigua. Look at that. Let's get a close this up shot bottle in. not to be sold. Sydney got his first hutch. Union Bottling Works, Canandaigua, New York. Are you excited? Yeah. I can't see your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My hat keeps falling down. We found a bunch of old bottles here. Yeah, we hit like a streak of just oldness. Look at me, show the, there's a wine bottle that Sydney found. Yeah, this, it almost looks like a light bulb. Yep. And then we've got some medicines, Castoria, there's some amber medicines. By the way, that one has a cork in it. This one still has the cork in it. We've got a cream top milk. We've got two flasks. And more Union Bottling Works. Canada, New York. And that's a York. blob top. Circle slugs. And a blob top. Is this a circle slug? Yep. Hmm. And here's a... Another Circle Slug Union Bottling Works. Circle Slug just Crown makes top. me think of slugs. A little crack in it. Oh well. We cleaned up. We gotta go home now. Yeah, we have bottle fever really bad. This is day two of the bottle hunt. We couldn't just leave it where we left it yesterday. Yeah. So we're back at it again. Yep. We found a really old lair and we stopped right there. And we ran out of time, but uh, today we're gonna go back to that same spot, look further down the ridge that we were at, and then um, spend some more time where we found the, found the blob top and the hutch and yep. the other stuff. All right, what are we going to find today, Sydney? You called it yesterday. You said um, we were going to find a hutch, and we found a hutch. Yep. Maybe blob top. <laughs> More blob top. All right, let's see. Day two. Here we go. Okay, we're back at our spot. Yep. Sydney and just found something. I pulled back something, and then... Pull this. Nice cork top. Looks like an old... Amber Med. What's it say? Can't really tell. There's oh, like Clorox. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clorox bottle. Oh. Juliet Laboratories. Yeah, the bottom is busted nice right out. Oh, the some things turning purple here. Whoa. Not sure what this is. That is water. Yeah, this one is busted up. Yeah, lots of brokes. Okay. Yeah. I hope it's not broken. What is it? It's Looks, like a flask. Yeah. I'm gonna take it off the dirt on it. Let's see. Is it broke or is it not? Don't see any chips or cracks. Nice. Nice quirk top. Cool. Oh, that was good. 
Sydney says we found something good. Oh, yes. I think it's full. Right, let's see. I'm not sure if it's broken. It's that right there. All right, pull it. Ooh. Hopefully it's full. What's, full mm -hmm. What's it say on it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I really want to make sure that there's no cracks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Liquid stove polish manufacture by J.L. Prescott Company, New York. Very cool. Good wow. Job, buddy. Liquid stove polish. Never heard of stove polish before. Very cool. Wow. That's a nice one. Yeah. Very nice cork top. Sweet. I've never found a cork top with embossing on it. There you go. Nice. There's a nice little amber flask. Unembossed. Cool. There's another one right here. Oh. Sorry. Oh! I didn't even notice that one. Okay. I don't want to break it if it's whole. So, dig something. After it's gone through the dishwasher. Oh. Oh, that would have been a nice milk. Look. It's broken. Found a fly slaughter. <laughs> Smack all the flies. <laughs> they get later. Too bad it's chipped in the middle. I guess we missed this one earlier. Warranted full pint flask. Or strap sided flask. We have a lot of those. Pretty cool. Oh boy. If that's not creepy, oh. I don't know what is. Oh, that is horrible. Ooh. Here's a little one that says. Chesbrell Manufacturing Company, New York. Not sure what that is. Look! There's a piece of glass I in can't there. Wow, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> we found four marbles digging around in there. You found four marbles. Yep. This isn't something we see every day digging for bottles. It says died 28th, 1849. I'm assuming whoever it was was 35 years old when they passed away. It's pretty interesting. I'm assuming they replaced the tombstone and then tossed this out with the trash. There you are. Okay, we're all set. Yep. We're gonna head on out. Nothing too spectacular today, but we just wanted to make sure that we got it all. Yep. You got I, anything else to say? Um, I have an enormous pack of bottles. Yep. <laughs> and this jug and then quite a few in there. Yep. Some golf balls as well. 
found a G.I. Joe harmonica, also marbles, and we gotta go over the log. Well, we'll see you later. We've gotta show you a close up of Sydney's wine bottle that he found. We think this thing is awesome. We don't really know how old it is. There's no manufacturer mark on it, but it is just a beautiful color. This is the Slade's Ammonia bottle. It's like an ice blue in color. This is the hutch Sydney found yesterday that's sort of cleaned up. We need to do a little more work on it, but that's it. The Hutchinson style patented spring stopper is still on the top. And here are some other finds that are sort of cleaned up. Insulator, we've got this Union Bottling Works with a crown top. Very common, but milk with magnesia, and it just looks pretty. And there's this soda bottle. And here's a monster blob top, Union Bottling Works, Canandaigua. Little bitty chip in the top. Here's the Castoria that's mostly cleaned up. And we also got an amber strap sided flask. It's slick. No markings on it. This plate is made, is an ovenware Fire King made in the USA plate. And it was made between 1951 and 1960. It's the pretty, it has a pretty jade color and daddy gave it to me. We only pulled two ACL bottles out of these uh, dumps that we just went to. This Dr. Pepper cleaned up pretty well. It's from 1959. And the other one is this Diet Right Lemon Lime, one pint or 16 ounces. It's a tall one. And the Diet Right is from 1965. Here's a few more that are cleaned up. There's two slick medicines that we found. There's the amber medicine and a full half pint flask right here. These are probably 1920s or so, early 1900s, 1920s. Here's some miscellaneous finds uh, that I gave to Alice so that she can play with with her dolls and stuff. She really likes things like this. She said that she likes bottles but doesn't want to hunt for them. So she gets little finds like this. This is the first cream top milk that I've ever found. Right there it says Bartholomew. In the top store. They call these cream top milks because when they put the raw milk in, the cream would separate and be in the top part right there. This one has a patent date of March the 3rd, 1925. Here's the rest of them that I have cleaned up already. The one on the left is a broken hutch. And I went ahead and cut that one into a drinking glass. The one on the left is a mouthwash. It says 15 and a half fluid ounces glycol thymoline, which is still sold today. And this is a Beaufont soda from Richmond, Virginia. Thanks for coming along with us on this bottle hunt. Thanks for watching. We appreciate the support and we hope to see you on the next one. Take care.